The Desert Tech Microdynamic Rifle, or MDR, is a family of bullpup rifles first introduced in 2014, with one of its most unique aspects being fully ambidextrous and multi-caliber capable. It has gone through multiple revisions over the years. However, in Airsoft, Silverback has had a long-running partnership with Desert Tech, but dating back to their excellent SRS first release in 2015. Their first AEG MDRX DMR was released back in 2023, and subsequent variants have mirrored changes in the real rifle. Like this one. Hi, I'm Andrew, and in this week's video, we're reviewing the newly updated Desertec MDRX Micron version 3, a replica of the shortened SBR variant of the Desertec MDRX, but now taking 5.56 magazines with several changes and even more modularity options. So let's get right to it. Now on first impressions, the most obvious thing that stands out is just like the full-size MDRX, the Micron is a bullpup with magazines situated behind the trigger. Except in this case, it's much shorter with only 11.5 inch barrel and that instead of full length handguard, you have this stubby foregrip with a nicely designed hand stop that prevents your offhand from slipping in front of the barrel while in use. The externals of the MDRX are solid with a lower receiver made of a high strength polymer and an aluminium upper receiver all covered in authentic licensed Desert Tech markings. Now this particular rifle is the two-tone version, though it does come in black or tan if you so wish. On the front, we have an aluminium triple prong flash hider on the front end of this shortened 11.5 inch free floating barrel. Now one nice detail is that the flash hider itself denotes the caliber the rifle is designed for as well which is always good to see a brand going the extra distance for authenticity. Move over to the top, we got a full length monolithic top rail that has, well, no sights. So do keep your set of optics on hand to use. Now onto the receiver, and this is where we have some external differences with the original MDRX released several years ago. Now why? Because the real Desert Tech MDRX has had a whole host of revisions over the years. And as the design evolved, the replica by Silverback has evolved alongside it. Now this includes the now straight charging handle and the removal of the forward eject system in favor of a more traditional but more reliable side ejection. Now, in fact, if you do want access to the hop-up, you simply pull back the ejection port here to reveal the MDRX's rotary hop-up adjustment dial. It's a very sturdy hop-up and definitely won't slip during play. It's also quite stiff, so I do recommend actually taking some time to adjust the hop at a range before a game. Now just underneath, we have a really nice tactile ambidextrous rotary fire selector. Right next to that, we also have an ambidextrous magazine release. But in addition to the two mag releases over here just above the trigger, we also have a third one located right next to the magazine itself alongside the center line that can easily be pressed with both hands. Underneath that is the trigger. Unlike most AEGs, this light MDRX trigger has a tactile click upon making contact, which makes it vastly superior to most AEG triggers and perfect for precise shooters who want the most out of their accurate shots. Now for the internals. To change the battery, push out this captive bolt pin over here and remove the redesigned butt plate. And the battery on space on top is pretty small actually and can only fit an AK stock type LiPo battery with a Dean's plug, very specific. Well, that's simply due to the accurate one-to-one -one dimensions of this replica to the real MDRX. So we were never really going to get another battery size in there because this was the smallest one available. Remove this other push pin to remove this handguard and pull up this upper receiver to reveal this absolutely impressive custom CNC aluminum gearbox. Now, like previous versions of the MDRX, this gearbox features full steel 18 to 1 torque gear sets with a massive 26 mm diameter cylinder for extra air volume and a very high torque motor ideal for upgrading to higher powers. This V3 MDR however features an updated yellow programmable control board giving better surge protection as well as an insane number of programmable firing options ranging from firing modes to the rate of fire, pre-cocking and more. In fact, if you already own a previous MDRX, Silverback will send you a replacement set to bring it up to date for free. But like the real MDRX, this airsoft replica isn't just a rifle, but a multi-caliber modular weapons platform. This means that a rifle here has parts that can be interchangeable with almost any other MDRX platform out there. You want to change this back to the DMR? 
we'll just change the outer barrel on the handguard. Want to use AR10 AEG magazines? Swap out the magazine adapter here, and then boom, you're good to go. The possibilities are genuinely endless. The Silverback MDRX Micron also includes a 120 round 5.56 NATO M4 type mid cap magazine, and it comes with two extra springs, one lower power and one higher, just so you can tailor your rifle to the sight requirements. There's also an instruction manual and a full set of Allen keys for complete disassembly. And finally, the price. At roughly 500 US dollars, the MDRX V3 sits around the middle upper end for rifles of its size. But you need to remember that this also includes all the additional support, extra springs, and access to potential future upgrades provided by Silverback 2. Now remember, you're not just buying a rifle, but an entire modular upgradable platform as well. So there we go. The Silverback MDRX Micron is shaping up to be the ultimate AEG bullpup, full of features and excellent ergonomics. But how does it actually shoot? Let's head to the range and find out. And now for the Chrono. As usual, we'll be firing 0.2 gram BBs. And now for the accuracy test. Here we are at landing zone yet again at the 30 meter range, testing out the Silverback Desert Tech MDRX Micron. We'll be firing 0.3 gram BBs at 30 meters. So let's see how it goes. Anyway, it's hot. All right, pretty impressive actually, um, especially compared to the previous one I reviewed on this channel. Um, the trigger response is a little snappier and overall it's hitting very, very consistently. And as you heard, every single shot was right on target. So I'm pretty impressed on that because, well, it does fill the basic requirements. Ergonomically, very nice. I mean, this is the classic MDRX we all know and love. It has been made by Desert Tech to be as ergonomic as possible. Now, certain differences like this new straight simplified charging handle might get in the way, especially on the Micron over here because it's so short and so compact. It's not really a biggie, but then again, you know, if you lift your hand, it might hit it. But as I've heard from the actual real Desert Tech MDRX, the folding charging handle was a source of many issues in terms of reliability and its durability. So this simply mirrors the development of the real gun, which is what we ultimately want in Airsoft, actually. Um, other things, you know, this, this um, handguard over here, very nice. It's got a finger stop over here, stops your hand going from the barrel and then hurting yourself, but it's also quite compact. Um, not quite as compact as say like the P90. It doesn't have some sort of thumb hold here because that would get in the way of the trigger finger. So you do have to keep your thumb to the front, sort of blade it against the hand stop over here in order to keep in control. And that's all. The trigger finger, it does get quite close, especially when you have big hands like mine, but it's never to a point where it becomes an issue with shooting. So it's, it's not really a big deal. As usual, um, the ambidextrosity of this is fantastic. You know, you've got the fire controls on both sides. You have the magazine release on both sides. You have a third magazine release over here, which is just more. The bolt release is all the way at the back, uh, as with several bull pups out there, but it's non-functional because this is an AEG. But yeah, overall, it's great. I mean, it shoots fantastic. Uh, even when firing offhand, as in the case with bull pups, you're not gonna deal with expent brass coming out, but whilst this model, this newer model removed the forward eject system because of its lack of reliability, the ejection port is small enough in the real one that it wouldn't really interrupt you anyway. And this is an AEG anyway, so it really doesn't matter at all. So you can fire it offhand perfectly fine, and there's going to be no disruption because you have all those fire controls across the entire gun. So yeah, ultimately, very impressed. It is 
The new ETU means it does fire quite a bit more snappily than its predecessor, the previous MDRX version. Uh, that's one thing I'm very impressed on. Obviously, it's not as fast as some AEGs. It doesn't use a brushless motor. Um, but, you know, this being a modular AEG platform, it is purposely designed for you to go and swap in motors if you so wish, though that would require a bit more technical know-how if you can manage it. Overall, it's a great skirmishable gun. You know, it's small, it's compact. This is, you know, unlike the previous one, which was a DMR, this is a general purpose, you know, CQB weapon, and it fulfills it perfectly. So, yeah. I really do like it, I'm very impressed. Anyway, let's actually go see how well I did. Right, let's take a look here, wow. Impressive. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is two on the same hole. Eight, nine, 10. So I'm gonna count these three as flyers. Um, I did notice them because I, I did a slight shift while I, was, while I was shooting. So I'll count them out and So yeah, wow, that's actually quite impressive, you know. I mean, obviously AEGs tend to be quite accurate in general, but you know, they're diminishing returns in terms of accuracy. And this one is definitely on one of the higher ends over here. You know, in fact, like, you know, this is, this is, this is not even a palm size target. This is like, I don't know, like length of my thumb actually. So very impressive and I really do like that. So yeah. Definitely skirmishable. You know, you have no problem at maneuvering around tight spaces and things like that with this. And overall, the internals function fantastically. You know, very accurate, very consistent. Rate of fire, pretty decent as well in terms of full auto. You know, if we go and uh, turn it out a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's perfectly doable. Obviously, it'd be nicer if it was a bit faster, but You've got to remember that Silverback put a very, very high torque motor on this, which is based on performance. So it could, in theory, if you used a quick change spring, bring the power level up far higher than that of most AEGs. So if you're in one of the you know, countries that do enjoy a slightly higher FPS count, you're not going to go wrong with this. This will maintain that performance and yeah, so you can shoot even further if you had to. And with accuracy like this, that, dis that range is going to pay off. So really do like it, you know, very nice, you know, very, very, very comfortable, very comfortable to use. That's one thing I always liked about Desert Tech guns. Very comfortable, ergonomic is at the top, even though they're not, they can be a little complex with all these screws and all that. But yeah, I do like it. So on that note alone, Let's head back to the studio. And we're back. So the Silverback MDRX Micron is likely one of the most accurate AEGs we've reviewed on this channel full stop. But how does it compare to others? External build quality and ergonomics are obviously excellent. And this rifle has both the pros and cons of the real thing. Performance is also very good with the rifle shooting consistently and very accurately. Now, some might complain about the rate of fire and trigger response, but at the same time, the ultra high torque motor means that you can upgrade the power to a level that most gearboxes simply would not be able to handle. The rifle has great value. And finally, the modularity options means this is an excellent platform to tinker with in the long term. Overall, we give the MDRX Micron V3 an excellent 4.5 stars out of 5. Let's hand it over to you guys. What are your thoughts on the Silverback MDRX Micron? Let us know in the comments section below. And for these cool products and many more, visit us at www.redallfairsoft.com. This is Andrew, out.